Okay, moving on to question 10, we're told a television was purchased for $2,100 on 12th of April, 2019. I'm just gonna write that date down, it looks important. Um, 2011, and it was purchased using a credit card. Simple interest was charged at a, at a rate of 19.74% per annum for purchases on this credit card. So the rate is 19.74%, which is, as a decimal, we need to divide by 100. So that's 0 0.1974. So that's our rate. Okay, that's a one. Um, and it's per annum, so per year. There were no pu other purchases on this credit card account, okay. There was no interest-free period. The period for which interest was charged included the date of purchase, that's the date of purchase, and the date of payment. So what's the date of payment? The amount was paid, what amount was paid when the account was paid in full on the 20th of May, 2011. So there's our date of payment. So we need to find all how many days there are between the 12th of April and 20th of May and also add the 12th and the 20th as well because they're included. Okay, it says here that they're included. So how many days in April? There are 30 days in April. So on the 30th of April, from 12 to the 30th of April, there are 30 minus 12. Um, there are 18 days between the 12th and the 30th, plus one, which is this one, the 12th. So we need to add one. And so there's 19 days, including the 12th of April. Okay. And from the 1st of May, to the 20th of May, that's easy, there's 20 days. So 20 days plus 19 days gives us a time period of 39 days. Okay, so that's our time. Um, what's that in years? What's 39 days in years? It's 39 out of 365 days in a year. So it's 39 over 65 years. Okay, so that's important. Because our rate is in per annum, our time has to be in years. So the formula for simple interest is I equals principal times the rate times the time. Now we've got the rate, we've got the time, and the principal we're told is $2,100. So, it's just a matter of multiplying these numbers. 2100 times the rate, zero, um, 0 0.1974, multiplied by 39 on 365. Plug that into the calculator and we get $44.29 in interest. So that's not the answer, that's just the interest, the extra amount that's paid. So the total amount that this person has to pay, the total amount is the principal plus the interest. The principal is 2100. The interest is $44.29. Add it together and we get $2,144.29. So that's our answer and that matches up with option C. So C is the answer.